hi well, this is mr sisterko again today we will be showing you the video how to control your application uh, in the client computers so you need a key gen system to control each copy of your application okay you are going to get inside that point deeply and we have another bonus for you which is how to hash your password and how to control each pc and each company now what we do i have designed a form here the login form we suppose that this is the first form to be open if the client launch your application so you need to control your application everything need to be controlled according to this login button clicked okay here if they click okay the password authentication passed then you will set a temp var to one or to a specific number which will be accessible to the main menu here the menu this side menu we have designed last time so the, the side menu the main menu sorry will be checking that temp var okay that temp var will be value will be one or two or any value you can put it so if the value is zero this form should be closed on open you can put a code on it on open if uh, temp var uh, system check it is zero then uh, do command quit uh, that is possible so now for now what we're doing we don't need this menu today we just need the login form and this database i will send a link to download it in uh, facebook or youtube you can check above the video description on this this video description on youtube you can find a link to download this uh, sample database uh, i took time to build it about 10 hours to think and uh, uh, to generate something for you okay now what we do we have this form here i have put a code behind the form as you see the code in the form is showing here on open the form on open the login on open if uh, the key is is valid then it will say message box key is valid if the key is invalid it will show invalid key then you can close the command close or do command quit you can do whatever you want and then the second uh, point will be checking the pc uh, key because the company first you need to check whether this company name is allowed to open your company your application or not the first checking is that the second checking we just added because sometimes we need it we need to control how many pc this company is running like uh, this, they told you okay we just have two pc two pieces so after you deliver the software they will put on 10 pc but they just pay you two pc so you can control that here from this point i will be showing you the uh, function we built uh, it takes just uh, one or two hours to build and check it um, here is the function so the first one i will not make you a headache uh, this function is very easy but if you don't know you're new in visual basic if you think it's very complicated so here is the first function we are going to talk about okay make ls key make ls key ls key we need company name here as a string a local lock key var as double lock key var is any value you can give it here like uh, you want to generate a key for the company running uh, like uh, spore software so you may use uh, like this you see the key here the key i have used inside the function so this can be my software number three so the key is this software number five okay as you like can be another kind of key so it can just give any kind of key uh, from one digit to six ten digits is, is okay this is the, the function can handle it so the key here is is depend on you so if you put this key 
inside uh, the model here for the customer so inside your company model also should be the same key otherwise you're going to generate your own key for your company for your client okay so we have also built here something i called company key generator the company key generator is for you you can uh, Create, you can go to design view and see what code we have behind. So the company code generator is here. So you can generate a key for a company, for a PC. For the PC, you need the MAC address and the company name. For the company key, just need company name and click this button here to be generated. So this form usually is not for customers' uh, application. If you want to ship your application to customer, so please do not include this form inside that application otherwise you are going to sell your knowledge to the customer at zero dollar so that's why we put here in red it's very important that you create another have a access application another access file so then you transfer this form in it and it table there is this table here company key generator okay generic code just for record purpose so let's us test the function how it work and get inside deeply in the description here is the function with the form then i will go to form view so it said <coughs> invalid key we are going to close the your application please contact the software vendor so that is the message display while the system go and check here the key okay the company key sorry here the company key the first one to check the company key is here you see they have the company name but someone just to cheat you has removed the key so to uh, let your application run without the key but in fact in the code we have put something here you see those three dots here company name where's company name? company name they look up we said if you don't find anything in the company comp table the key if you don't find any key oh, sorry here you don't find any key so just put those three dots so those three dots will be sent to this make key ls here if it doesn't find anything key like a key uh, in the table sorry it will be here the key Comp key here, comp key will be here. So if we hash your company name, Global Trade Incorporation, with this number, then we cannot get these three dots. So that's why that means your key is invalid. You go to this side because this here will not be equal to this one. It will jump to this side to say your key is not valid. So I've tested if someone just by example put anything, uh, sorry put anything here like a key to cheat you again you can test so we go to design view then we open it again to check invalid key because that number hashed cannot be equal to uh, this one okay if your company since your company name is right <coughs> sorry then here <coughs> I will generate a good key for this company and check it so we suppose that the company the, how to call uh, the client call you okay mr. developer I need the key because my company is that that, that company okay we, we check it we just copy the company name here company name copy okay then we close so they call you I'm I want to log here but I don't have a company key the system is exiting <coughs> okay how to enter a company key so you just tell them okay you can enter a company key like uh, here you say they tell, tell you the company name then you just type the company name here and then you make key for company okay <coughs> the key has been successfully saved so you see in the company table we have saved the key here for record if they call back later you can even see this table and just the, give them the code 
so we copy this key here and you go to the company table like you build a form to type your company in the company key to register the company key so we will put the key here okay that's mean you come your company here have generated the key because the customer cannot generate any key for his company okay just you can generate it so we close our company form also is closed then we go to design view then reopen the form you see whether our key is valid okay you see the key is valid that means the system has checked it. at the second point of checking uh, popped up this pc need to be registered your company name is correct thank you but you this pc cannot use our software as you see the system jumped directly to pc registration form enter the key from the software vendor if they try to go back to the page the tab again they will see that this button okay is locked is enable false because the pc need to register in your company they cannot do anything so how they will give you uh, the company you see here please send the pc mac address below to the software vendor in order to get the registration key so just copy Okay, we suppose that the, the client sent this to you, then you open again the second time the company key <coughs> generator. You type the MAC address here that the, you get from the customer. Then you ask the customer what's the company name. If the company was registered to you, you can see here we put so, a small kind of strange combo here. So we click the combo. Then we get if we don't see the company name here, that's mean already have a problem this company how they can give it me the mac address yet their company is not registered in my registration uh, table you see their name is not here why so you can ask many things but for now we when we're going to generate the pc key for that company we generate the pc key the key was, has been successfully if you check here this company table you see the the key has been inserted with the mac address then just copy this sent to the customer by whatsapp or by sms the the key the customer also get the key then they type the key here in the registration form in their login forms and then they click register the key has been successfully saved okay then we close the form the login form Okay, you close the custom company also generator. Then we open the login form. The key is valid. Nothing happened because it check this PC has right to get in or not. So in the comp in the client PC uh, uh, software, you will, you will have to create the PC key where you want to store the PC key. Okay, like uh, any kind of PC key. We suppose that this PC key they type in is wrong okay they want to cheat you and then they just type any kind of pc numbers okay we copy this also we passed here to check whether they can cheat you or not we put here and then we, we check it we close we close the form and then we open the form if we open the form you see and then this pc need to be registered because the key in the pc key list is uh, wrong so we suppose that they have deleted everything okay they click the here they delete everything from your pc key table to cheat you to let your form open without any blocking then we save we call we close the form and then we reopen the form this time we say the company key is valid and this pc need to be registered then they will jump to the registration form they cannot do nothing so they have to call you back and give the, the pc mac address if they want to get their pc mac address that's easy just padlock here just click the padlock you just ask them to click to click the padlock on the login menu then they will get the pc mac address okay then <clears throat> they go to registration form uh, sorry they send this pc mac address to you you open your company you passed here okay uh, sorry i didn't copy yet or what okay let me copy from here 
p and when you get the mac address from your company then you select the company name again then you generate the pc key and you select the key you select the key you send them a whatsapp or by message they get the key they register the key register is done then we close the form we check it whether it work or not the key is valid the company key is valid no registration form displayed so these three tabs here you can hide them you can make the tab uh, hidden nobody can go to the registration form or go to the login without uh, any following order because you have to tell them to go you have to give access to those tab by, by another button as you see if i go to form view i have no way to go to the registration form or to go to any kind of tab unless i give you access so if i lock this button and then they cannot come back here to the login unless they get registered because the pc is not uh, uh, how to call register to your company to their company list so this list no one let them see the, the list of the, the key they can see they can do whatever they like they can manipulate no problem so it depends on them if they delete that is their problem their software will stop and then also here in their company uh, table you see this table is is must be in the client uh, software right because there is company name there is address this address will be on every report this company name will be on every report you can put another field here company logo will be on every report that's possible okay now here if they change this one to any name or even change the character from a, a lower character to upper character character they cannot get access in it because the key is is according to what they type exactly if this global is all upper character then the key is according to that if they change to lower character or just just put a point here you see let me check see we close this one we close also the pc key we close the form and then we open if any time you open the form the form is going to check see invalid key because they just put a single point in the company name they should not because that's hashed with our system our function will not give this one we give another thing so that's why let them see this table they can see it they can manipulate it they can do whatever they like so what is the problem the second problem if they lost this number id one here they are from there any code they will put, even they put back here like they deleted the id one then they see it's not working then they put back here the id the company name and the second line then they will have id2 right so the function here in the form open the form open as you see id is one so the checking is starting with id1 so no matter what they do don't care they change company name they change the key they can change address no problem for that phone number they can change but here they cannot change the company name even a little bit they cannot change the company key they cannot even they remove the key no problem we just replace those dot key with three dots if you don't find anything it's generate three dots only so here is the three dots here and then uh, the company name should not be changed by the user by the uh, client so you have to tell them if they call anybody to manipulate here the system will be stopping so here was the company key and the pc key registration system i have put something here just for check to check whether this company key you can type any company name here like uh, abc okay then you click here you see the key generator for abc company so you can type again another company okay type you can see the key what key this name generates this combo is for that here is the password we didn't reach that first okay here is the company name you can put any company name here also you can ask you see the company name okay now 
that is understood you can open the file go to design view or check the model to check global mod okay here is the model very simple uh, is the ascii code here uh, we use the ascii code for any character inside this one okay and then we use the function hex uh, which is a vba function hex okay the, everybody know this function okay just uh, put so you can change okay we said here minus seven not for nothing just to make this ascii code not a standard because if people know you have you're using ascii code they can just take ascii code they could give to the hex you see there is a problem that's why we put minus seven here any character you generate here just please minus seven you can make minus 200 if you like but the ascii code is shorter it's three character long so if you minus 200 is a problem maybe okay here is the hex code the hex function you see the hex function we multiply we get something here we multiply by this one with something something else one character and then we concatenate it with another hex divide by okay see just something make it complicated you can change this function as you want but just be sure you understand how to change okay make the pc key is the same we see here we put another key local var here because in the parameter of the key uh, pc key maker there is no key inside just give company name and pc mac address so the mac address is the in the parameter but here inside the function you can change this key you can change with any key the minus five here also you can change with anything so that's just a simple way uh, to let you understand you can make it this function more and more complex that's no problem the mac address function is here the mac address function yeah i got it from some someone so you can use it you can try, try to change this function it can give you the mac address here uh, is uh, our own function that's the point so you can use it you can make your application great here also is a key okay key password for the password to show you why you need to hash the password because if i'm a user i'm a, a someone i want to in log into your database then i just open your user table and type the new password then i get inside right but it's not like that if you want to build a stronger application with a hash password hashed you can just put the name and put the password hashed here like one two three give one two three to this system like here i type one two three you can see what one two three will be if we hash you see one two three will be this this number so we can just type take it and then uh, we put behind it while, while we create the user you can say see type your password please type your password they type their password while you send to the table user table you hash it and send this hash to the user table directly with the code so the hash will be here so the be admin here example admin okay the hash will be here okay so if they check they see they see your database they say oh i see the password the password is af1 okay no problem they copy the password they go to come to login they type here you can see this af71 okay if they pass here the hashed key then then they look clicks on the login button here so you see what we, we generated we generate this one this the first one and the second one is not the same so they cannot be logging because they just go to the table they copy the hash the key they come and then they put the hash key here the system again the okay will hash this hash key to get this one so this is not one two three but if you put one two three four if they click on okay one two three four will be hashed and then they will get this one then the system will open the main form that's why you don't care so the password will be saved in the customer's memory not in your database so let the customer keep the password in their memory you should not keep the password in your database just keep the hashed one so uh, it's, it make you it make your application more and more safe okay so uh, i think this is the end of this lesson uh, we'll try to do more because we see here we are building 
a parameter uh, form like a form design okay let me show you here okay database setting we want to show you how you can control the level user level one user level two to let this menu do not open if they don't have right one but this lesson we have made today is very important because many people uh, want to send a cell application I mean, I mean access application but they don't know how to control it that make a problem so the customer or some people who knows access a little bit they can even hack it crack it and then pass user application without paying anything so if you don't think to protect your application like this that means you are making you are also a user you are not developer developer need to control uh, their application and be extremely professional on everything uh, from password to company to pc used to the version everything you have to be to, to control and then we will also show you many technique uh, we use since uh, um, since 20 years we will show you many techniques we use in our database to make the database pleasant and very nice to work with and uh, really we have many many function uh, to do many things because we take time also to help ourselves uh, that's why we have many function uh, for many things thank you and have a nice time